Hello, it's Friday and it's time for Friday Live. I hope you're doing okay. Um, I had a whole bunch of questions about what I actually live stream today. Um, because if you're watching this from Tomorrowland, today is the morning after the announcement of the Queen's death. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and live stream. I, um, yeah, we have funny rules here. Well, not funny. We have rules here about what goes on and what doesn't. So the reason that that question comes up is because a lot of like fun entertainment on normal television won't happen for the next week or so. Um, but I think we're okay to scrapbook. It's our way to deal with all sorts of things. I'm still in the mood to craft. Um, I hope that's okay with you. So there we go. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that, but we can ask and answer questions and things like that. I had a lot of questions from Americans uh, in my DMs overnight about like what it was like. So we can talk about that as we go if we like. Right, I hope you are having a lovely week. Um, for many of us, it's been back to school um, this morning. I had to try and get my head around that, getting back into that schedule of take him to school and then rush back here to get everything set for live. And, and, and. The most exciting news, I, I can say exciting because like that's not a word to describe the queen, right? I, I, yeah. <laughs> the exciting news in my house is that I clean my desk. I'm going to use my own trimmer today. What's that about? So that's, um, that's a bit of wild, wild fun. Um, also that I've got a class up, but uh, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's look at the desk and, and carry on. Right, who's here as well? So we've got Jean and Elaine and Noreen and another Jane and um, China girls here, Helen, Sophia, Allison. Yes, welcome to everybody who's here live. Oh my goodness, Noreen's here at 4.40 a.m. It's um, 9.40 here, yeah. Okay, Sophia's getting back to homeschool, so yep. We're all back to school one way or another. I'm gonna look at this. Okay, um, very quickly wanted to show you this while it was on my desk. And um, so this pattern paper I had a few questions about because it's in next month's Best of Both Worlds shopping list, but also in my supply list for SBC Fest. Um, and the question was, am I using it just for one or both? And I'm using it for both because you get a lot. So I figured if I'm going to put a paper pad on the list, I better use it up because I don't want all of this sitting in my stash. I, I want it used and, and being useful. So there you go. That's the answer to that question. It is nice and um, thick, solly, solid, solly, <laughs> Stur that was half, a solly was halfway between solid and sturdy. Words are hard. Um, yeah, solid, sturdy cardstock. Okay, so that's the harvest one. They do them in different seasons. There we go. Now, today, going to mix up um, a four by six and two three by fours to scrap our trip to see anything goes, where we dress as sailors, because if you dress like a sailor and go see anything goes, you get free glass of Prosecco. <laughs> as if we weren't already going to dress like sailors. So obviously the small person did not get a free glass of Prosecco and sadly they didn't even give us an extra for him or give him a soft drink or anything, but they did put his picture on their Instagram. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, there we go. Right. Um, Sophia wants to know if we're starting a pool on how long it takes for my printer to become a shelf, my printer, my trimmer to become a shelf again. Um, I don't know. The funny thing is, um, WB promptly put stuff on top of his trimmer so that I can't use it. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're gonna do today, mix sizes. And cleaning my desk mint, I put this in a folder so that it wasn't just everywhere. And here's the, the ridiculous part, is that then I went to use it, <laughs> like for today, I went to put it on my desk and I'm like, I can't find it, I can't find it because I put all the other kits in there, like the leftovers in one spot so that I could um, kind of go through there and see what I'm gonna put in various use what you buy workshops. Um, Cause that's what I'm using there is leftovers. Um, and <laughs> um, I didn't put this one in the same place, 
But you know when your head gets like it, it's forgotten one thing and it just keeps looking at the thing that seems obvious to you even though it's wrong. So I must have gone through that stack of the old kits like 15 times this morning. And do you know where I put it? This this lovely thing? I'd put it right down the side of my desk so that it would be right there. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> All right. So let's have a look at what paper we can use. And I'm doing my best here to stay tidy. So one of the things I did was I used to have the, the mixer that lets me switch from camera to camera. I used to have it on the desk here. And then my laptop sits on top of a Rascog cart next to me. And I've moved it over so that they're both on the, on the Rascog cart. But now I am a little terrified that if I'm careless, I'll knock my laptop onto the floor. That would not be a great idea. So we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. But it does give me a little bit more desk space to put stuff over here and not worry about accidentally pushing the buttons because I have done that once or twice where I've put paper on top of the mixture board and then I've switched cameras without knowing and you're all like, Shamal, we can't see. <laughs> and it's because I've put paper on top and it's push the buttons. All right, so I have a million doodlebug backgrounds this month because I put two kits in. So um, that's all backgrounds. Here's the real, the real fun part of the kit. Oh, so you could jump into that blue dots. Yeah, I think that's gotta come in. And maybe this red star as well. Oh, or I could do red, this could be really nice, okay. Got aqua there. Oh, and this has journaling boxes. Let's use some journaling boxes today. And then we get into the back to school stuff. And I think I might mix in a little bit of the back to school. I kind of like that star as well. Okay. So let's do that. And then I want those journaling boxes. And then I'm going to put this on my favorite shelf. No, actually my second favorite shelf. Put it on the footstool. <laughs> there we go. Yes, Sophia says, we've had lots of rain over the past several days here and a lot of it thundery. It's true. Like we had a really dry summer and now we're having all the rain all at once and thunderstorms, which we don't normally get here. And I grew up with thunderstorms. So of course, it's quite a quite comforting experience? How is that even a thing? But it is a thing, right? You can't enjoy thunderstorms as long as you are indoors and safe. Um, so, um, and WB came home from school and said it was so weird because we were in class and we were writing, like we were supposed to all be being really quiet because we were doing writing. And then the thunder came and it was really loud. And I said, the funny thing is that I was also doing something really quiet because I was in ballet class and we were doing the adagio and all of a sudden there was this big boom, 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 boom. And we all kind of looked at each other without like breaking the pose, just our heads moved. And it was quite funny. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use today, I think. Let's sketch it out. Oh, oh, that was a near miss. Just caught a rolling booper in between my heat gun and the sea monkey tank. You know, important drama happening on my pretty much clean desk. Is WB's school closed today? No, everybody's in. Um, it was interesting because his, his school, um, the teachers don't wear formal, they don't tend to dress formally, but a lot of teachers, although they were still in kind of the same level of clothing that they would wear, um, they were in black. So like teachers that tend to wear long jersey dresses, for example, were in long black jersey dresses um, and, uh, and, and things like that. But I have a friend who, um, her husband teaches at a school that's far more formal and he was going in with a black tie today, but also bringing extra black ties in case he had colleagues that didn't own a black tie. But then my husband's office was still casual Friday, so no ties. There you go. Well, and this dress, WB had a theory about what we should all be wearing today because he was learning yesterday about we have a rule here. Well, part of the, the royal rules, part of that is that um, all the broadcasters on the BBC and things like that are all in black and they were all in black even before the announcement yesterday, which meant we could kind of tell something was coming. Um, 
And so he was like, well, so we should wear some, something black. But also, and this is where his personality comes through, he's like, I'm not sure that the queen would want us to really be in all black. So purple is a royal color. So why don't we wear a mix of black and purple? So he's gone to school in black joggers and a purple tie-dyed t-shirt because it was what he had that was purple. And he was like, you should wear that black dress and, and purple tights. So this is the dress, but I'm wearing purple tights. There we go. And um, Joanne, in Australia, so obviously in the Commonwealth, and she says all the broadcasters there are in black too. Yep. Um, yeah. I found it interesting looking at which pictures different um, newspapers around the world went with, because obviously outside the Commonworth, Commonworth? Commonwealth, um, they don't have like a written protocol. They have a bit more choice of what they could use from their archives. And a lot of the American newspapers went with really joyful photos of the queen, like when she was smiling at things. And the New York Times did one of the really nice photos from the Jubilee where she, her whole face is just such a smile in that purple, like lavender suit. I loved it. Um, whereas a lot of the British uh, photos that will be printed will be more, um, more serious moments. But I do really like the, the ones where they've caught just absolutely joyous. Um, and I did love that lots of people were posting the, the cows video, which might be my favorite queen face moment ever. If you haven't seen the video of the, of the queen getting excited about cows, that's all you need to Google. The queen gets excited about cows. And it's just the most wholesome five seconds ever. Allison says, is that why you're using a black pen? It's not, but there we go. So if you weren't here on Monday, the update on the Sharpie was, I went to buy a new pink Sharpie and they didn't have any pink ones. They only had black. Um, so I went ahead and bought a multi-pack of black Sharpies until I can find a pink one. <laughs> because they know the dying pink pen was bothering some people. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that we really don't overthink the composition of where these photos go. And that we do one big... Too small, like this. Oh, <laughs> my sketching ability has not got any better overnight. Okay, yeah. So they they're going to end up like that. Then what are we going to do with that? I'd like to kind of work with these lines. So this um, banner here, it was a really obnoxious size in that. Um, it wasn't a landscape ratio. If you went landscape, you ended up with extra that like off the sides, which meant you'd catch lots of people and stuff. But if you went portrait, you'd end up with quite a bit of carpet and the bottom of this, and you'd still lose the A and the S from anything goes. Um, so I'm just gonna work with those horizontal elements rather than be frustrated by them. So I'm gonna block off the page like this, which then means I can have some patterns. Now I kinda of like, I don't have, do I have a zigzag border punch? Oh, I have zigzag scissors. How crazy is that? I just really kinda of want to do a zigzag line like that. And then another pattern here. And my bonkers, have I gone off? the rails to want to include a zigzag. Not quite that uneven, but you know, sketching. Okay, then journaling card. Where's, is journaling gonna go over here, I think, maybe? I'm gonna have to see how well that's all gonna fit. And then these could have a layer behind here. And then we can put some good old layers up here Layers down here, confetti, confetti, maybe a little confetti here, maybe a little confetti here, title. If you need a long title, you've got extra space for it there. A little bit of embellishment here, a little bit of embellishment here, so that we go along that diagonal or maybe that one comes down to 
within those little tab sections. But there we go. All right. So if you want to screen grab the sketch, there. Oh, this is journaling. Sorry, I didn't put the lines on it. Now you know it's journaling. <laughs> Photos have to have smiley faces. Journaling has to have lines. Them's the rules. I don't make the rules. It's just what the rules are. So there's our sketch for today, which might involve decorative edge scissors. But you could swap it for any sort of border punch. You could just do straight lines. Or if you're not Amy, you could tear it. If you are Amy, you can still tear it. Ready? Right. So let's do. Um, dun, 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 dun. Okay. Sarah also loves the cow's clip. Right. Hi. I'm Chamel. I teach online scrapbooking classes, design scrapbooking products, and help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job, and that means anytime I scrapbook on the internet, it's considered advertising, and legally, I have to make sure you're aware of that. So thank you for coming to watch my hashtag advertising. I really appreciate you being here, whether you watch live or when it suits your schedule from Tomorrowland. It's good to see you either way, and you can either um, chat in the live chat during the video, or you can leave comments after the fact if you're watching from Tomorrowland. Um, if there's any questions about where you can get supplies or how the best of both worlds works, or anything like that, you might be able to find the answers in the description box below the video and you will be able to find um, the sign up for Use What You Buy Stencil Edition. Um, did I make it clickable? Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no, but it's right at the top of shamel.com right now. Um, and if you watch from Tomorrowland, I'll make sure it is clickable in the description link. But yes, that um, for September is just five bucks and it includes four videos with four techniques on how you can use your stencils on scrapbook pages. And then you can use the same ideas over and over again with different stencils, different colors, and you'll have different pages so that you can make sure you get your money's worth from what you buy. There's also the stamp edition that was last month's. And then this is our second one, which is stencils. And that goes live over the weekend. I'm not committing to an exact time because the internet is being a little, mm, which I assume because it was yesterday. I assume that's because there's just like increased internet activity in this country. <laughs> and around the world. And um, so hopefully it won't take very long, but anyway, it will be live this weekend. Cool. Thank you so much to those of you who've already signed up or those of you who sign up at any time after that. Let's scrapbook. Thank you. Ah, Larson just signed up for the stencil class. Fabulous. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. Right. So let's just make the blue be the whole background. Let's make the blue this bit back here. Oh, or is the blue this? The blue is this, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Bend and snap. Bend and snap. If you've signed up for, stencil, or for stamp class and you haven't gone over to do it yet, it's probably sitting there on your account waiting for you. So just go over to chamel.com slash forum, log in with your username and your password. If you don't remember your username and your password, just send me an email, chanel at gmail.com. Um, here's why. There is a button that says, send me a new username or new password. The problem is, for some reason, somewhere along the line, that um, email has been, like the, the content of that email has been identified by mail providers as being spammy, like it's a phishing email or something. It's not, um, but it doesn't ever get to you. So you can fill out that form like six times and it's sending it every time, but it's never making it to your inbox because it's not, it's usually not even making it to your spam folder because it gets blocked along the way as something, I don't know, I don't, I can't, I can't figure out the logic of why it's been marked as dangerous, but there we go. Um, so, uh, thoughts. Um, so yeah, just send me an email. I'm happy to do it. It's not a problem. So this in the middle, because this is not going to be so nice for here because the rainbows are quite big. What does this look like if I put these over the top? Is this too busy? It's really busy. Okay. So this needs to be strips. Maybe one strip of rainbows with red zigzags 
which then means one of the reds becomes our background. Let's go with red stars is our background. Okay, I got a plan, I got a plan. What's the other side of this? Am I gonna regret? Oh, it's the crayon paper. That is pretty cute. I mean, okay. What have you taught me? Just, just got the paper, even though it's not in my instinct to get the paper. Oh, Melinda, yes. Um, good question. Do annual pass holders automatically get the use what you buy classes? Yes, you do. So you, if you're, um, if you're an annual pass holder, then you already have the stamp class and the stencil class will be there automatically when it goes live. Do you, do, there's no detention, you're all good. Okay, so I'm gonna do four inches of this at the top. Oh, I'm so not used to using my own trimmer that I almost sent it flying off the desk. Apparently I don't know my own strength. Oh, the funniest bit that you have to know about what happened when I unearthed the trimmer. <laughs> um, underneath my trimmer, so I'd cleaned all of this part of the desk and I cleaned off the top of the trimmer and then I wanted to polish the whole desk so I picked up the trimmer to take it off. And underneath there, I assumed there would be little bits of pieces of stuff, like, you know, different off cuts. There was an entire pack of die cuts out of the package, but with the package. Like, I don't think I'd used any of them. I don't know how it got under there. I don't know how the trimmer was still laying flat. They'd all kind of nestled themselves in different spots so that the trimmer was still making contact with the desk. Oh, the whole thing was just hysterical. So yeah, pick up your trimmer, find a bonus pack of die cuts. And you know what I did? I picked them all up, scooped them into the loose die cut bowl, and off I went with my life. <laughs> Okay, so we got um, we got that at the top. Then we're going to have this as the big box across the middle. So where's my photos? How big do I want this? I want a white border on that. So I'm thinking about here. And then I'll put another strip of red at the bottom. Let's see what about here turns out to be in measurements. Yep, it's eight, which means I've got more of this on display than I need to, but that's all right. Okay. So that's, oh, that was terrible. I gotta get used to the trimmer. <laughs> that's gonna go across there, which means I need a little bit of the stars at the bottom. Larson says, can you still sign up for annual pass? Yes, you can. You can sign up for it any time, but it would start with the class that it started with. So if you've taken any of the recent classes individually, then it's not in your financial best interest to buy the annual pass this time around. Yeah, you'd buy it next time. And it's not annual, it's just class pass. <laughs> Um, because what it is, is it's basically you're, you're paying in advance and the pass runs out once that pass, um, once you, once the classes in that time frame are now more expensive than what you paid. Yeah. So you, and the currency has totally shifted. So I got to do some careful thinking about how this works. That's why I went ahead and did the use what you buy is just in dollars because the pound is bouncing all over the shop right now. Um, so, well, and not in a good way yesterday. <laughs> it's a good way if you're shopping in pounds from dollars, you can do that way. It's not a good time to be swapping it the other direction. <laughs> no, it's very low. Um, so yeah, um, it would start with Half and half, I believe. Yeah, so if you go to just, you can search half and half site colon shamal.com that on Google, that'll get you straight to the sign up page for half and half. And then in that page, you should also find, I hope I'm not forgetting which class, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's half and half. And um, you get 
you'll get um, the, the option to do the either $150 or hundred pounds pa class pass. And then you will get every class I teach until it would be that value if you had just bought it individually. Does that make sense? Um, and so um, you'd get half and half, you get Scrap a Rainbow, you and the, the bridging class that goes in between those, you get the bridging class that goes between Scrap a Rainbow and the next big class, you get both Use What You Buys, you get Journal Your Christmas, and if you want Learn Something New, that's included too, that's kind of an optional class. I mean, everything's optional, but you know what I mean. All of that um, gets, and Learn Something New and Journal Your Christmas um, do not, oh, and Share Your Christmas, do not get included in the value of the, um, the hundred dollars or 150, no, hundred pounds, $150. Okay. I did a really messy job of explaining that. So if you have any questions, please just say, and I will tidy up my thoughts there for you. Okay. So this is where we're going here. This can come in a little bit. I think I've actually made that the red or the blue a little bit bigger than it needs to be. Now, zigzagginess. So what I'm thinking is that this becomes the zigzag across there. Now, I don't know why, but scallop, I can do a scallop edge. I mean, I've got rainbows and I've got scallop here, but for some reason, the boat made me want to go zigzag. Um, as Sarah says, her cat is absorbed in this live. Hello, Smee. How are you? Um, so I'm going to do a line with the zigzag and then see what I think. Okay. It may or may not work. Then we can always go back to scallops. Do you want to know tips for how to cut straight with decorative scissors? Is that the most old fashioned advice ever? Oh, how funny. So here's what I do. The cutting edge of decorative edge scissors is clearly not a straight line. So that doesn't really help you cut your decorative edge in a straight line. But this part is, and this part is, yeah? So line up the straight edge of your paper so that you're watching this and this and that, and they should all stay parallel. And then the thing you want to watch with the blade is that when you move the blade, you match up the pattern. Just like you would match up the pattern on a border punch, you match up the pattern. And then you get a straight line. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so I can take this. All right, I need to take a little off the top of the rainbows, I think. Tina just purchased the stencil class. Is it live on the weekend? Yes, it will go live over the weekend and it will just magically appear on the forum for you once it's live. I will post on at least Insta stories to say it's live. Go over to the forum and check it out. Um, yeah. So if that then has this edge at the bottom of the rainbows. Do we like, or is it too weird to have a zigzag and a scallop together? I'm still liking it. I don't know why I'm in a zigzag mood, but I am. The only question I have is, do I leave white space underneath the rainbows or do I overlap? Oh, I overlap it, but I pop it up. And then the scallop turns into waves. Because anything goes is on a boat. It's tap dancing on a boat. All right. Do I sometimes have very tenuous links? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh. And I was just going to drink my coffee and then I had, I remembered, just so you're aware, I did swap out. I'm not drinking from Haunted Mansion mug today. I borrowed WB's Eeyore mug. 
Oh, hold on. I've got it with the wrong hand for you to see Eeyore. That side just has his name. So there we go. Tried to find something vaguely appropriate, but all my mugs are Disney. <laughs> so Eeyore is the winner. All right. So we're gonna pop all that up there. Right, let's let's do one thing at a time, getting stuff stuck down here. And I think swap to black ink for the edges. I got brown out at the moment. Let's put brown away. And go with black, okay. So black here. Here. And since this is popped up, this will sit on top of the blue, not underneath. Now the border work at the bottom of the page will be smaller. So I may end up leaving out the scallop down there or something. We'll just see how it goes. Anything goes. Okay, it says donkey is almost a horse. So it's all good. That one's stuck already, yeah. So this one coming up here. And then this is going to go over that edge like that. Okay. All right. Poppy Obax being the most riveting thing you can do. In crafting TV. Oh, while I'm doing silly pop dotting kind of things, I was watching the comments about the advertising, like the actual YouTube adverts, and um, and I found it really interesting because there the experience is very varied. So, um, if you weren't here the other day. I've turned on advertising for one month, just one month, to do some trialing and testing, basically. I turned it all off because in the past, about a year and a half ago, the advertising, running the adverts, was not making enough to make it worthwhile, um, and so I turned it all off. However, YouTube's been discussing with creators saying, no, the system is getting better, you should be able to actually earn something off of it. I was like, oh, okay, well, we'll try it because I'm not sure I believe you, but I'm willing to give it a go. So I'm um, turning them on for this month and I'm interested to hear your experience. If you absolutely hate the advertising and you're like, nope, I'm not watching until she turns it back off, please come back in October because it's just that the plan is one month of evaluation. That's, that's, if it's, rubbish at the end and it's not worth it, then I'm not going to turn them back on full time. Okay. But I'm just exploring. Um, so, um, some of you have premium, so you got no ads anyway. Yay for you. Um, some of you <laughs> got like one or two ads and some of you got eight, but you all have the same settings on my side. Like I don't have it set to be like, and these people should get lots of ads. I don't think that's even possible. I don't think I can separate the audience. So there's clearly a lot of, um, a lot of variety in what happens. Um, so I am, I'm interested to see how it goes because it, that I wasn't expecting it to be that inconsistent that some people would get one and some people would get eight. That seems mad to me. I'm not quite sure how that works. So there we go. Right, which of these journaling boxes can work? 
I'm not sure. Oh, this one just cut down. The yellow works fine. Okay. Tina got an ad today right before, like after I switched it live, but before I appeared on the screen. Yeah. Joanne hasn't had any so far. And I do think in my experience of watching other people's live streams, you get fewer ads if you're watching live than you do from Tomorrowland. So one of the things I'm going to research is when it's, um, when you're watching from Tomorrowland, do I have the power to go in and move the ad breaks, take some out, anything like that, or is it all determined by them? I'm gonna research that this weekend. Okay, oh, I could have this just as a box if I turn it that way. That's what I'm gonna do. If you want to save the currently crafting for another thing, you could just cut this into a box and then use that later, but I know that I probably won't use that. So I'm okay with it. Okay, but I want this to have a white border, so I'm just going to add a scrap of white cardstock behind it. And China Girl says, hearing that someone got eight ads is exactly why I use an ad blocker. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just testing for one month. Please do, do not fear that it's this way forever. Don't feel like Oh my goodness, she's convinced she's gonna make millions off ads. I'm really not. But if I, let, let's, let, oh, that was perfect size. Um, I just wanna see, are they telling the truth? Is it possible for me to, you know, pay the electricity that it takes to broadcast? <laughs> I don't know. For those of you outside the UK, we're all petrified of our power bills right now. Um, they, um, they, they're going up dramatically. I don't just mean like a little bit. They're going up a lot. So um, when I'm live streaming, this is one of the times that the house is using the most electricity and because I have all the shooting lights on. Now, laptop is okay. Camera runs off a little battery. That's fine. Um, but the lighting takes a fair bit. Now I do have, I don't, it's not as bad as it could be. When I first started filming, um, I didn't have LED type lighting. So that was a big, um, it, it used a lot more power. Um, but this is more efficient. Anyway, it's not really like, it's, it's not a problem. I can keep the lights on for, um, uh, oh, and look, as I say that, the sun comes out here to be like, that's okay, I'll just light you from this side. And now I've got this big shadow. <laughs> Trying to use the natural light. So there we go. Um, my balance, sorry, it'll take a second for the blinds to stop moving. So there we go, there we go. Oh, how funny. Valerie watched Monday's live, but on replay, and she got quite a lot of ads, but strangely enough, not, um, not an ad when I said I'm putting in an ad break, because there's a button and it tells me, like YouTube pops up on my screen to say, you could put an ad break in now. This is a good time for an ad break. <laughs> and so I tried that. The thing I didn't realize is it doesn't actually pause, it doesn't actually like, Get, say on my screen, okay, now take a break, you're doing an ad. And so I thought I needed to like stop what I was doing because you wouldn't see what I w was working on. And it doesn't, it just pauses my feed going out and puts the ad in. So the live chat would get a little offset from what I was doing. I don't know, that's not perfect at all. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna come over here. I want this to have a layer behind. I kinda wanna bring in more yellow. So let's get I'd already cut into a yellow background sheet, so I can use that. I'll do this. Um, I could make these smaller. The white border here is really big, and I'm a little pinched for space, and I want to add more borders, so <laughs> why don't I cut this down smaller? I still prefer to do things like this with scissors, not the trimmer. <laughs> Oh, Elaine says, 
Um, she was thinking they got eight ads in one go. No, eight ad breaks. Yeah. I get, because it's a long stream. But just so you know, I didn't purposely go in and say like, the number of ad breaks I desire is eight. No, I definitely don't desire eight. So I'm going to see if I can control like bringing that down. I, um, I don't know. And maybe it may well not be worthwhile. And I just t test it for September and then I turn them all back off again. That's absolutely fine. But because they kept telling me, you know, you really should, you really should have a go. It, it, we are making it more useful now. Um, I feel like I should, should give it a try rather than just judging off experience from years ago. So that's all. But definitely the best way to support this sort of stuff is to sign up for a class like Use What You Buy and shop through the affiliate link. Those sorts of things make it possible for this to be my full-time job. Some people are always thinking like, would YouTube ads like pay for what you do? Because you know, there are, there are fields where it does. Like YouTubers who, who literally just do YouTube and that's, that's their, their bills paid. And um, you need to be in a genre that, um, that a lot more people watch than scrapbooking. So I, I am what we call a niche interest. And that's okay. I like my little niche interests. I like that all of us here have crafting in common and I'm cool with it. And also don't need to be a millionaire. <laughs> have, have I told you that this is the thing that makes me not ever take small business courses? <laughs> a lot of, I get lots of adverts for small business courses. And then when you start to read things, it'll be like, because you can make it to, to a million in a year. If you follow these instructions, I'm like, oh, dude, I really have no interest in, in be, like judging my success in that kind of terms. I just wanna make sure I can keep food on my table, keep the lights on, do what I love, keep everybody happy. <laughs> so I do not blend well with those types of courses. <laughs> So I'm always like, nope, clicking that button that says, I am not interested. Do not show me this advert again. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. Right. Yellow over here. Could mix it up, but because these are taken like one after the other, I feel like it needs to be that way. This photo quality is terrible. It was really dark and I put my phone down and then put it on selfie mode. So it's forward facing camera, which means it's not a great shot, but it's okay. There were days when we didn't have great shots and it doesn't make them any less clear memories. Yeah. I do love when I get great shots. Don't get me wrong. I love quality photos, but also sometimes the best photo is the photo you got. And that's the photo I've got of all of us. And Cassie and I are terrible for both being scrapbookers and then going out and forgetting to take a photo with us in it. <laughs> so it's all good. Yeah, <laughs> Sophia is pointing out that you'd need to have about 400,000 subscribers to be at a point where the advertising on YouTube is actually real earnings. Yeah. 400,000. I don't know how many scrapbookers there are in the world these days, but I, I'm, I have no desire to get to 400,000. Also, that's a scary number of people knowing all about your life and hearing you ramble and hearing you mess up your words and break into song. And yeah, <laughs> I don't need 400,000. So yeah, it's good. It's good. La, la. Right, so if I make this space about the same as that space, and then I'm just gonna put embellishment over that, so that's fine. There we go. That's gonna go there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Yes, Sophia's gone niche now. 
Um, but yeah, so Sophia and I, there is a, um, a shared YouTube interest in our homes because we both have family members who enjoy Minecraft and a specific, relatively family-friendly um, server of YouTubers that do Minecraft videos that are quite entertaining. It's called Hermitcraft. And the people who are kind of at the top of that heap, like the ones who have the, the biggest number of subscribers, work full time. And one of them only just decided, like he's got a massive channel, massive following, but was he also has a family. He's not like some 20 something on his own who's just paying his own rent. He's got kids, he's got a whole family there and he wanted to make sure that it was the right decision. And you could tell in kind of the lead up to him going full time that he was really, really thinking it through going, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. Like I need to make sure I can provide for my family. I, and I, I, it's a creative called impulse SV, get it? Impulsive. <laughs> um, and so uh, hysterically what he was doing was not being impulsive, but, um, uh, plant. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think it's a really good point that, yeah, there are different ways. Um, and I do remember, um, a friend who worked in, um, she worked in normal broadcasting, like in children's TV, and she got um, made redundant, laid off, and she was like, so do I just go full-time with YouTube because my channel is really not big enough to just do that? I'm like, but there are other ways that you can make it work. Don't rely just on the ads. So I'm not relying just on ads. I'm just trialing it one month. I'm going to shut up about that now. Okay, so we need to put something here. We need a tile down here and these little layers. Okay. I was curious, is anything in the school set relevant here? Just because the colors are right, but really, no. There's nothing like stars. There's hearts there. Oh, there's one. Is there literally one star? What is that about? No. Don't do this to me, designers. Little memo to product designers if you design product and and you you don't craft here's a memo we need three of something <laughs> three <laughs> if there's just one like if it's a big piece it can be standalone that's fine it can be one thing but if it's a little tiny filler piece give me three or a multiple of three or at least or or maybe five or something but not not one teeny tiny star with nothing else that it matches. Thank you very much from the bottom of my crafty heart. Okay. Um, Sophia says, does anybody in our house listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast? No. There, in fact, I do not believe that anyone in my house has listened to Minecraft podcasts at all. That's not a um, corner of the world that we have, have discovered. I listen to <laughs> true crime podcasts. Of course I do. Um, and then I, I did a, a, like a sideways move from true crime podcast and ended up delving down, uh, well, diving down a, a rabbit hole of, um, like disaster podcasts. Um, so yeah. And then the odd Disney podcast. Trying to think what else do I listen to? Um, yeah, that's not, not Minecrafty ones. Yes, Elaine is right. Three is the magic number. Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's, I mean, it is Friday, but did we go see this on a Friday? I don't think we did. We originally were planning to see it on a Friday, <laughs> Friday, but, um, they had to cancel the show and we rebooked and I don't think we rebooked for a Friday. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with that single star, but there's stars up here. So I'll put it somewhere in the confetti just to get it used because, oh my goodness, it's going to drive me mad. So I want something I can fit behind here and then put those hearts over the top. So, you know, we got flowers this month. That's cute. We can start there. Yep, so we got flower, and we'll put chipboard hearts across the top. Hello, Debbie. Thank you. 
What else we got happening here? Could leave that one. Mm -hmm. We can use yellow enamel dots. Although we do have navy blue there too in the school se section. Okay. I can use the blue letters. What? Finally. Come here. <laughs> so I'm going to put the title on first and then that'll show me how much room I have left for these little corner pieces. Blue letters. Please let them be legible on here. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit red, white, and blue now, which was not my intention, but I'll add more yellow and then it'll make sense. It'll feel more blue and yellow. I just gotta add more yellow. Why am I writing anything goes when it's clearly there in every photo? I don't know. Hold on. Think this through. Let's write dress like a sailor. <laughs> Can I fit that in? Dress like a sailor. I actually think I might be able to. Sailor's night out. There we go. Let's do that. Sounds almost cheeky. I like it. Okay. Sailor's night out. Oh, Debbie says I could do you're the top. I could. You're the top. Da 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 Why can I not get the spacing right there? Da 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 Alright. Oh, I was telling WB yesterday because he was talking about his new class and stuff like that, his new teacher. Um, and I had been looking, you know like when you, you need to look up something that you know you've discussed with somebody so you use the chat search to find where you talked about it. Um, and it's inevitably far further back than I ever expected to be. <laughs> um, yeah, so I went looking for something and ended up finding, because it was like the comments around what I had looked up, this point where <laughs> there'd been a kind of meet the teacher night early um, in the school year when WB was very small and had just started his first full-time year. And the teacher he had that year, he had two teachers. One who was more, um, more bouncer, oh, can't spell. Um, one who was a bit bouncier. And then one who was more like classic serious kind of school teacher. She was, she was young, but I just felt she was very by the book um, and not very like, I don't know, She's a lovely lady. But the, their two styles were very different, the energy that the two ladies gave. And so the one who's a bit more serious is saying to me, like, about, you know, he's focusing well, that's good, he seems to listen, he seems to pick things up, the, all those nice things that you want to hear. And then she says, <laughs> she says, there is an interesting thing about his personality that sometimes um, when he's really concentrating, he just breaks into song. And I was telling my friend in the chat, like, immediately that night, that because I felt like um, that she, that this was not, like, a compliment. This was not a let's embrace this. It was just a, a cause for, con for small concern. I just kind of looked at her like, oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> um... And, um, yes, now it makes me laugh a lot because he's, he, he's, he's not alone in breaking up into song when he concentrates. That's just a thing in our house. <laughs> and I don't know why I 
didn't feel like I could just say that, but at the time I didn't. There we go, Sailor's Night Out. Um, and when I found that in the chat, oh, it just cracked me up that I was like, what am I going to do? She thinks my kid breaks into song. And then my friend's like, because he does. And so do you. And so does your husband. Why are you surprised by this comment? <laughs> but I was. All right, we need more yellow. And we need the bits up here and here. So we're, how don't, why don't I use that to add the yellow? So we had this yellow grid paper here, which I already had out, but I put down here for some apparent reason. Okay. So I can grab a label punch. Yeah. But you can just cut rectangles. Don't have label punch. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. Why was I surprised? Really? Nope. Not shocking. He asked me two days ago, is it too early to put on a spooky playlist in the morning so that we can have all the Halloween songs we want before it's actually Halloween? Oh, child, it's never too early. <laughs> so we started that morning with um, the Vitamin String Quartet playing Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, why not? So we're going to make this one small and maybe going off the edge here. No, well, maybe not. Maybe I bring it enough. Maybe I bring it behind the letter T. Yeah. I don't know why. I thought if I whispered, I'd have a better chance at it working, which seems to have been fine. Oh, see, YouTube just went, you should put an ad in here. I'm not going to today. I'm going to leave it out. So then the other side of the petite prints is all also yellow, of course. So I can just swap them over to get more yellow on the page. All the yellow. Which has just reminded me that for the first few months that the umbrella song was out, you know, the you can stand under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, you know, that was a terrible saying. But you know what I mean now, right? I thought it was saying Yella. <laughs> and I was like, what is, why does she say you can stand under my Yella? And somebody just looked at me like, umbrella makes perfect sense, Shamel. Come on. But I wasn't seeing it. Um, right. Then. Need one more piece in those. What have I got in the flowers? So yeah, next time you hear that song, you can be like, ah, yellow. Maybe the umbrella is yellow. Okay, so I have this. Which I think is from last month's background. But, okay. oh, I could just punch the tiny ones from this. I can't now, can I? Can I make this work? <laughs> yes. Amazing. <laughs> that one can go up there. So the trick was Push it in from the side and then drag it through. Nope, that went crooked as I turned the punch. Gotta push it down before you turn it over. There we go. Okay, so we got little groupings of yellow. Yellow. those. Time to pop those up. Oh, Pam's getting on the plane. Off you go, Pam. Have a wonderful journey. Travel safe. 
Have fun. See you later. Okay. Melinda says, is this punch still sold? Yes, but not as widely available as it once was. I don't think it's been officially discontinued, but once EK Success was bought by American Crafts and went under their umbrella, umbrella, <laughs> um, then we saw um, like it, com it comes out and then it goes away again. Um, so I think rather than hold a lot of inventory, they are kind of um, having a different strategy, maybe. Where do I want this one to go? Didn't realize it would be so hard. It's because I want that. I don't actually want it popped. See, sad, sad. I'm going to take them both flat. I thought I wanted it popped. I didn't. And I want this corner inked enough that you can see the shape. That's better. Okay. Um, but um, it is a punch that you can sometimes find for resale. Check eBay, check Facebook, let people know that you're trying to buy one because some a lot of people bought it when it was brand new and then did not fall in love with it like I did. So it's sitting in their stash and they're not using it. Um, so, you know, for 10 quid, they probably let you have a like new punch and maybe less. And you um, could have a punch that you use all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yellow dot. way. That way. And then one set in here. And bubble these. Yeah, so am I getting so that it feels like there's more yellow? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting there. Um, yeah, <laughs> Debbie and Pam are like, I use mine regularly. Yeah, I'm guessing <laughs> that kind of our little circle of people, <laughs> we use it all the time. <laughs> um, because when we see each other use it, then we always remember we have it and, and we go use it more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I feel like there needs to be something brighter yellow here have I got I think I have more yellow in these backgrounds I do I've got like a, um oh I've got two shades so I think it needs that behind here just needs needs something a little more I mean I know you're shocked Chanel thinks something needs more but I do Look at me trying to use my trimmer. It's shocking. I'm just shocking all around. Okay. Let's see if that gives it the weight that I want it to have. Let's see all the ways that we can make it more yellow. Now, of course, that and this are not the same width, but it's okay. I wasn't liking that the text was lining up, so I think actually bring it down a little bit.
and then it's kind of purposely offset from this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Sophia points out a good tactic. Set up an eBay alert. Yeah. I have used those um, for various things over the years quite successfully. Definitely recommend. I need to remember that I have the six by eight field trip in this kit. I forgot all about it was it being there because I kind of put it to the side with all the school stuff. And there's stuff in there that we could use all the way through. And some of you might have had this just hanging out in your stash. So is there anything I can use in here? And where am I gonna put that star? <laughs> just gotta go somewhere. I'm gonna put it at the start of the journaling. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use this today, but I need to just remember that it's in here because I had totally kind of blocked it out and went, use that on back to school because it's in the school section. But I could use this at any time. Oh, I could do a cool layout with that, actually. It was one of my favorites. The headings here. Those can be used for different things. That one can be quite cool too. Okay, so here I go, putting it back, but I have had a little reminder to myself um, now that it's there. All right, can I bring in maybe a couple more flowers so that this one isn't just on its own? Let's see. So I've got yellow here. Do I want to add in a leaf to that flower. I don't think I do. I think I just want blossoms and not um, not flowers or not leaves. Okay, but really, am I just down to one yellow blossom left? I think I've used the yellow one straight away. I have to do a pinky purpley layout because I got quite a few of those in here. I got an orange. Put it behind there, behind the labels. Yes. Okay, and which part is going to be covered, this petal? Because I don't have a third blossom to bring in, so I'm gonna cheat. And that one's going to appear just a smidge at the bottom. Flower there. There, journaling there, and a little bit here. And just stick some gold on it? I feel like this was too easy, but I like it. Uh, where'd I put my gold? Here. Oh no, Sophia's hurt her shoulder blades. I send you good vibes, hoping it is not for long. I noticed this week that my neck is suddenly starting to improve. Um, if you've been watching long enough to remember back in the spring when um, there was a certain crash from a climbing wall and I ended up with whiplash and just Spoilers, I was not the one falling off the climbing wall. Um, and it, I, I literally have been thinking this is never going away. My, I'm never recovering the range of motion because all of the literature that I could find said um, six weeks, you'll, you'll start to feel significantly more um, strength in it after six weeks. And six weeks was like day three. 
like from day three to six weeks was nothing and then like no improvement and it has just been like that for ages and I'd been doing um, all the exercises that I said I should do like all the gentle stretches and I investigated should I buy all new pillows um I went and tested pillows and of course the pillow that actually made my neck feel relaxed was 112 pounds of course it, for 112 pounds a pillow should make everyone feel relaxed 112 pound pillow what world are we living in um so I just kept it, it kept saying you know if you don't feel improvement within then a much longer time frame, then you need to go see a physio or something. I'm like, okay, so, so far so good, but maybe I need to see a physio. And then this week, as I'm getting closer to that magic date where it's like, you need help, um, it's, I've suddenly got more range of motion. I noticed because it was easier for me to um, cross the street <laughs> because I've had to be moving. I've, I, it's been comedy. Like, WB walking him to school and he's like, mommy, why do you always hit me with your bag when we are crossing the street? And I realized it was because I wasn't looking left and right with my head. I was keeping my head straight and moving my whole body. I was doing like these little turns like this. So if I had a backpack on and I turned and he's next to me, I was wiping him out with the backpack every time. I never learned. And um, so, yeah, I can, I can do that to cross the road now and it's great. So Sophia sending you healing vibes, although apparently as you get older, it takes longer to heal and I wasn't ready for that, but there we go. Um, so there we go. I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to put a little bit of journaling on here. I'm going to put some journaling on here. Does it need anything else? If you wanted this to have more, more, you could add in more tabs here. You could make this a big kind of larger piece of tabs here. I didn't end up adding the red scallop down here, but I think that's okay. Could do if you wanted more layers. Um, but I was thinking the more red I start adding, the more it ends up red, white, and blue, and I wanted to add more yellow instead. So there we go. I think that's it. Um, yes. Right, any questions? If you want to go over to shamel.com, you can sign up for the stencil class and that'll be live over the weekend sometime. Um, we're going to talk about Christmas next week. Um, next week we're going to talk about Christmas. Um, I think that's, that's it. Oh, and next weekend is obviously SBC Fest. So that'll be awesome. My supply list is up over there. But I can give you the, the brief version is that paper pad that I showed you. Where did I just put it when I was done? So I use this. I use two stencils that I've used in Best of Both Worlds before. I use my polka dot stencil and the little rainbow stencil. Um, here, I, can, I can't show you the project, but I can show you supplies. In fact, quite a few of the supplies I have used in Best of Both Worlds before. So. The paper pad I haven't used before, but it's in next month's shopping list, so you will get more ideas with that. This was from last October's kit, the Jewel sticker book, which has the rose gold and multicolored letters, plus labels and phrases. That's on my project. These are the stencils. I use the polka dot one and the rainbow one. You could use just one or you could use both. Um, I use a whole bunch of Distress Oxides to match the colors here. So you could follow the list of the ones I've used or you could just use whatever is best. Um, and then I use Distress Oxides and I use some paste, which is that. Yeah, or you could use the Vicky one or you could use any other brand that you like, but something that gives you some texture through a stencil. Then water with a brush or a sprayer, a mat so you don't get your desk messy, like we're talking basic stuff, adhesive, pop dots. Um, yeah, any questions about that? Oh, Sophia says, are we meant to have had a reminder email or anything for that? I signed up instantly, I knew, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. 
I am going to post a little video. I'm not sure when it's going out because I'm posting it with them. Um, but how to prep if you don't have foundations cardstock and you want to be able to use ink and water and paste and all of that without your paper like dissolving into a puddle. Um, I'm going to do a little video that basically goes through the options of thick gesso, thin gesso, just leaving it to warp um, and shows you that and that'll just be like one of those 60 to 90 second videos. Ah, Elaine has had a video, an Anne China girl and Joanne. Okay, so maybe check your spam, um, Sophia, and sign up again if not. Um, I would say if you, if on scrapbook.com, if it gives you the option of um, emails or text messages and you're not on a US phone, um, make sure you do emails because I sign up for the text message thing every time and I never get one. So I'm guessing it just doesn't send to foreign numbers or I could just be a weirdo and it doesn't work with me. But um, email, probably better. Yeah, check spam and then sign up again if it didn't work, <laughs> if you don't see it there. Right, okay, I'll see you very soon. If you're not coming to class this weekend, then I will see you Monday, 1.30 p.m. Uh, UK time. Thank you very much for joining me. Let's see if we can get, I've got to figure this out. I've got wires. I had to move the wires around and now they're in the shot. <gasps> well, that works. I just threw the power pack onto the desk. Why is this in a different spot than it used to be? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was fun. Oh, now I'm being careless and putting my hand in the mist and knocking the chipboard hearts off. Okay, the chipboard hearts are gonna need more adhesive, FYI. Okay, let's try one more time. <laughs> There we go. All right. Try not to throw anything else on the desk. There's the last sketch layout. If you like it, you want to give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.